Welcome to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Alicia over at the Homeschooling Adventure and it is all about the slow cooker or pressure cooker challenge. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. In today's cooking video, I am gonna make some short ribs in my Ninja Foodi using the pressure cooker feature. So you're gonna take your short ribs and you are going to season them to taste. I am gonna make them Asian style, so I'm using some teriyaki sauce. You can use any teriyaki marinade. Once you season them, you're gonna add your teriyaki sauce, let it sit um, and place it to the side as you continue to prepare everything else that you're doing. I usually set it aside for about 10 to 20 minutes. So this video is really special because it's the first time that I'm using the Ninja Foodi. Um, I have been dying to use this gadget. <laughs> but, you know, I just never got around to it. Um, I've had this Ninja Foodi in a box since Christmas of 2020. It was gifted to me by my husband, but I always told him this is going to be the first appliance that I am going to take into our new home. At the time, we were still renting, we were house hunting, and the that March of the following year, that is when we closed on our home, which was this year, praise God. And so here we go. I'm using it for the first time for this collaboration. In a separate video, I will do a uh, walkthrough of the Ninja Foodi. Here, you're just going to get a little glimpse. So now you're going to add some water into the Ninja Foodi and you're going to place all of the ribs inside of uh, the Ninja Foodi using this rack. Um, I made a mess on the side because I was thinking about standing the ribs, but that can only be done if you have the actual slab of ribs. Since these ribs are already cut individually, it's best to just lay them down the way that I, you see here. It cooked about uh, eight ribs at a time. Um, so I'm cooking in two batches, but it cooks really quick. I mean, this first batch took about 10 minutes, which is not a lot of time. Now this Ninja Foodi is so convenient because you have so many different features to use in one machine. It is absolutely amazing and it is quiet. It doesn't make a lot of noise. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the pressure cooker. I am going to set the uh, temperature to high and then I am going to start. Now you see it's swirling around. This just is an indicator that the pressure is starting to build up. Once you see and you set the timer, you see the numbers counting up. That means it's time, it's done, it's cooked. The red button goes up to let you know that the pressure has already built up. You wanna make sure that the valve is turned to the seal. Now that it's done, you wanna move it over to the vent so that it can release all of the pressure. And there you have it. Look how good these ribs look. I mean, they may look a little pale because we still have to add our barbecue sauce, but I mean, it really did cook these ribs through. I am very impressed with uh, the cook time, with the way that the ribs, I mean, they're just really soft. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove these and move them over to a separate pan and I'm going to place them nice and neat begin to prepare them for the oven you can use the air crisp feature on the ninja foodie but i love to have my ribs you know using the broiler so i'm gonna move them over to a separate pan i'm gonna brush some barbecue sauce which you will see later and i'm gonna work on the second batch of the ribs uh, because i know the first batch is going to go flying and I want to have leftovers for the next day so that I don't have to cook. <laughs> all I have to do is reheat. So I'm going to go ahead and place all of the ribs in the basket like I did the first time and I'm just going to continue to repeat the same process. Once again, this collaboration is hosted by my lovely friend Alicia over at The Homeschooling Adventure. Make sure to head on over to her channel and check out her video as well as the playlist. 
Now, if you want to get that barbecue flavor, that really authentic barbecue flavor, you can also get some liquid smoke. And you can add a few drops of that. Um, and it is going to give it that smoky flavor of being uh, cooking your ribs um, on the grill. So we are going to line up the arrows. It is now closed. You want to make sure that you switch these the, from vent to seal. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to set the temperature. So now you're going to turn your machine on. Okay. And then you are going to select pressure. You're going to select your temperature by using the arrow keys. So I want it to high. I'm going to set my timer to 15 minutes and then I am gonna press start. So the machine is ready. You're gonna see these little lights swirling. It is just letting you know that the machine is working, is building up the pressure. Once the pressure is built, the little red uh, button that's there is gonna pop up and it's gonna to begin to cook and that's when the timer is gonna to begin to count down. Um, once it is done, it's going to beep and alert you that it is done. You're going to then switch the valve from seal to vent, allow the steam to escape. Once that red button goes down, it's letting you know that you are able to open up the machine. So let, let's let these, the second batch cook, and then I will finish preparing the rest of my ribs. So now I have my hoisin sauce, which is perfect for making uh, Asian barbecue ribs or mushu pork. Um, you can use any barbecue sauce you want, but because tonight it's an Asian theme and we are gonna make these ribs, I'm gonna use the hoisin sauce. And I am going to serve these ribs up with some shrimp fried rice. You can find that video in the uh, I cards up at, at the top or by checking out my recipe playlist. Now you can put as much or as little of the barbecue sauce that you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more and then I'm gonna flip them over and add more sauce to the other side. And then I also have the second batch that I have to coat. But I wanna make sure that I have a nice amount of barbecue sauce and then you're also going to sprinkle some sesame seeds i want to kick myself in the tush because i kind of forgot to get the scallions because i love to chop up scallions and then just throw them on the top um you can do that that is optional um so many ways you can make this your own but just by looking at the ribs and feeling them the Food, the Ninja Foodie did a good job in cooking the ribs. So, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna wait for the second batch to be cooked, and I will do the same thing. Hopefully, all of the ribs will fit. Let me add this one in here. Come on, squeeze it. If not, I have an extra pan, but I would like to just use the same pan. Mm. Very sweet. Mm. Very good. So it's done because it's counting up. Um, so now I am going to go ahead and switch the valve from seal to vent. Let all that steam escape. Once it's done, that red button will go back down, and then I will be ready to open up the menu So now that the pressure has already been released, the red button is down, it is time for me to open up the Ninja Foodi Easy S Pie. Um, that's it, you just twist it and it opens right up. Um, and that's how simple it is. So let me finish doing, putting together these ribs. Amazing, Facebook amazing i can't wait to eat i sprinkled some 
of the cilantro on there as well as the sesame seeds and I am ready to serve this ninja foodie rocks I love it if you haven't tried it make sure you do thank you so much for tuning in please do not forget to check out the playlist down below and until the next video guys bye